Well, hello, my gorgies. So I just came from Walmart. I had um, a few things to pick up, and um, I found a mascara called Bombshell Volume, and this is from um, CoverGirl, and it's kind of the lash blast formula. I think they're trying to say it's part of like the lash blast family. No, it says that it's supposed to give you ten times the volume and um, length or whatever, at least that's what it said on the billboard thing that they had up, but um, it's pretty and it's pink and it's dual headed, there's two sides to it, so there's the, I believe one of them, yeah, one of them is a rubber, you can see right there in the picture, one of them is a rubber bristled side and the other one is a kind of traditional old fashioned mascara with the bristles. Um, I personally love the Lash Blast mascaras. I've had, I think I've gone through three of them already. The last one dried up on me really, really fast. I don't know why, but I am a fan of Lash Blast. I don't typically normally use um, CoverGirl products at all, not even like other items in their um, brand or their line, but this had such a big, huge billboard on it in being advertised in Walmart that I just figured that this would be something to review for you guys. It's fairly brand new too, so. The packaging says, intensify, seal in with one coat for intense, dark, all day finish. All day finish. And um, load on for unbelievably big volume. Mega volume, dark intensity in one mascara for an over the top bombshell look. Removes with the CoverGirl makeup remover. So let's get this open. The packaging is really cute. I mean, they definitely got the New Year's kind of twinkling, glittery packaging going on. All right, let me remove my makeup. Or should I say my mascara? I'm using some Neutrogena wipes that are not very damp anymore. I might physically have to go into the bathroom and actually like wash my entire face because these wipes are not the business right now. How was everyone's New Year's? I wish that this was like a live feed and that I could actually hear you guys. There we go, we're getting somewhere now. And we're back, so <laughs> as scary as this looks, this is me with no makeup on. And black apparently smudged all over my eyelids and eyebrows. But you guys will get the gist of what the mascara will do, so for the name of science. So where'd the mascara go now? All right, so I think what they want you to do is step one is the Rubber one. Okay, so step one is the rubber side. It should be. It's very fat. This mascara is very thick if you compare it to, let's say, my telescopic one. It's very, very thick. Opening for the first time the first side. And it's a rubber bristle. Okay. Right off the bat, with just even like one flicker, I can tell you it's a little bit harder to use this mascara because the brush is so fat and so thick. It's a little bit harder than I'm used to. It gives you a little bit less control. You can't get in as deep as you would like. The one thing that I do notice right now that I do like is there's a no clump. Like I'm, I've been going over it a million times and nothing has clumped yet. But along with the fact that nothing has clumped, it's not giving me a whole lot of payoff mascara wise. But that's of course just one side of it. Okay, now it's starting to clump a little bit. Okay, so that's one side of the mascara. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys.
and it's the normal old-fashioned bristle brush. This brush is a little bit better and easier to control. It's not as thick as the other one. It's helping me separate the lashes a little bit from what I had it before. But at the same time, my lashes look very skinny. They don't look fat. Like the, how do I say it? The actual hairs, the mascara did not make my hairs of my, on, my, on my lashes very um, thick per se. And it said it's supposed to have volume. So I expected it to be just kind of like big and full. Whereas this I feel is more skinny and lengthening. I'm not quite sure how to feel about it. Um, maybe a second coat from the intense side, the second bristle. See how that works. And I'm starting to get spidery lashes, yep. So basically, after two different mascaras and two different brushes, um, I feel like the results that I got from the mascara itself was the norm that I get from any drugstore cheap mascara. This was not in any way brand new or different than anything I've ever tried before. As a matter of fact, it's more, it's more underwhelming for me than the mascaras that I normally buy that are drugstore brands. Um, actually, Telescopic is one of my favorites for drugstore brands. What I'm going to do is show you what the Telescopic looks like. Okay, so you can see here, that is a little bit more structured than the other side. This one I feel like has a lot of like little skinny hairs that didn't make the cut, but the telescopic got like every single hair. Just looks cleaner and more neat over here than it does over there. Yeah, I would still say that telescopic is the better choice, even not just telescopic, just in general. The CoverGirl mascara is not impressive at all. It's a dud in my opinion, and it's not worth the seven or eight dollars and change that they charge. Sorry that this was not a must have or must buy or must try, but at least you guys know so you can save your money. And that's it. I hope I see and talk to all of you guys soon. And don't forget, I will be at IMAX this January, the 17th through the 19th, I think it is. So, I look forward to seeing you guys and meeting you guys if you guys are going. Let me know down below in the comments if you're planning to attend. Love you.